everybody, and welcome to Beach Battle 2241. It's hard to believe we are almost at the halfway point of the 2200s, and the sets are continuing to grow more intense by the day. Shin Kazuma, the Galaxy Fight Ninja, is looking to stamp another major win into his record book by closing the cover on Psychopath Kyo's crazy novel. Will the resident nutcase shake the cobwebs finally and knock the Dark Assassin out for his largest W ever? Only way to know is if we go to the Caligatus Lake stage. Hope you all enjoy! Can the knight camouflage Kazuma and allow him another violent mauling? Or will Kyo's insane rage drive him into the loony bin? Shin Kazuma vs. Psychopath Kyo on the Caligatus Lake. Let's see who drowns tonight. Round 1, let's rumble. Alright, Kyo missed the aerial axe handle. Kazuma blocks the elbow. Gets a big string of kicks on Kyo following the electrical dive kick. Trying to force Kyo in the corner immediately. Now Kyo gets up, gets a ground pound. Right to the double axe kick of Kazuma. Missed the dashing elbow. Kazuma counterattacks with a sword up cut. Puts Kyo back in the corner. Gets a sweep kick right to the electrical fist. Does about a fourth of Kyo's health. Now Kyo gets an aerial throw off of Kazuma. Let's see, Kazuma leaps over him, leaps over him again. Turns around, sword up cut right through Kyo's blue energy shield there. Then lobs off a fireball, hits Kyo right into the sweep kick for the kill. And Kazuma smokes Kyo in round one. Can he light that same fuse in round two and bury him again? We'll see. All right, Kazuma opens up the fireball, knocks Kyo down, gets a sliding sweep kick right to the aerial string of kicks in the air, right to the flame tackle on Kyo, pushing him back in the corner. Kazuma goes invisible right away, lobs off the fireball, knocks Kyo down again. Kyo gets a nice uppercut on Kazuma, forces him back. Now Kazuma leaps in with the electrical dive kick, right to the electrical fist, nearly takes Kyo out of the fight. Now Kyo getting swarmed in the corner by Kazuma's blitz creak of aerial kicks, right to the flame tackle. Nuzik takes Kyo out of the match, I think. Wait, Kazuma goes invisible, another fireball knocks, knocks Kyo down. Kyo trying to get back up, Kazuma just comboing him in the corner right now. Another flame tackle, I think Kyo's already dead, but Kazuma just keeps the relentless onslaught going. Now Kyo gets hit by another fireball, electrical dive kick punishes him to his death. And kaboom, Kyo goes to pieces again, 2-0, courtesy of the Dark Assassin Shin Kazuma. This Galaxy Fighter is looking way more promising than Strider Hien ever did. For one thing, Kazuma's getting the job done without the cheap Electro Beam. He's just using a lot of good spacing combos, not to mention his invisibility. A way more brilliant fighter to be sure. Let's see if he can keep it up in his future sets. As for Kyo, any chances of him getting into the Hall of Fame are pretty much gone. Because his last match is going to be in the 2300s, believe it or not. And his win count is currently sitting in the mid-teens. And even with the last three matches he has coming up, if he wins them all, it's still not going to matter. He's still going to be near 20, and that's nowhere near enough to make Hall of Fame status. Sorry, Resident Nutcase. Maybe you'll make it on Neo's show later on when you go over there. But Keo has done pretty decent over here, though. I'll give him that. He's got his fair share of wins, and his wins are still greatly outnumbering his losses, so that's always a good thing. And don't you guys worry, Keo and Yoko will be sticking around for Mixed Up Musion Season 3. They'll remain one of my mixed doubles teams. They're actually one of my favorites, too, and they're doing quite well together. And they're going to remain a mixed doubles team till the end of Mixed Up Musion, whenever that might be. So you guys could breathe easy knowing that. Anyways, stay tuned for Musion Battle 2242. Coming soon. Laters all.